Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Never Lose Your Nerd channel. I'm Brandon. I'm Ishmael. All right, this video, we're going to do a little theory video. Theories. We're going to do our thoughts on how the X-Men could come in. Thoughts. Especially Wolverine. How they could be created, possibly, by Wanda. Possibly, possibly WandaVision could introduce mutants Wanda. somehow. Possibly. Or the possibility of it. Maybe. Or maybe they're already here. We just don't know it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about it next. All right, man, you've had all day to come up with something. I literally told him we're going to do the video. Yeah. Start getting together your theories, your yeah. stuff like that. Take some notes. So where's your notes? They're right. Mm, nice right. notes. Right. Yeah, right. I don't trust your notes in your head. <laughs> Not very much. Well, my first theory is, so you know how it's going to be in Doctor Strange House of Men, the... Is it called House of Madness? Multiverse of Madness. Multiverse of Madness. Mm -hmm. And they're going to go through every dimension. I think in one of the dimensions is going to be the X-Men, right? Are you sure of that? Probably. You're just making this up. You're making this up. You know, you said this was a theory time, right? <laughs> okay. So what if they accidentally leave the, a dimension open and then people can come through it? Mm -hmm. And they could be the X-Men. Or there can be a group of people. There's a whole people out there and they don't know there's an X-Men gene. Then, since you know how Scarlet Witch is a mutant, Technically, she, she, she probably is. she probably just goes, the mutants revive and she like makes a big explosion, right? Since since they're compacting in one division, there's a big force field protecting her world, right? What if that force field breaks and all her like powers go throughout the whole world and they activate the mutant gene? Yeah, that goes into one of my theories. I'm not going to get to that one next yet. But what do you think sets off her that probably the that kids. event? Probably the kids. What about the kids? They probably die. Or they, they probably die. disappear and they're not real. They don't exist? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'll, that, that goes into mine. I really think... I stole your detail. Uh, um, I really think Wanda is going to use her chaos magic, which is actually reality warping chaos magic. She's technically probably the strongest mutant there is. If you get down to straight power, probably her and the Phoenix Force. I don't even think Apocalypse could go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I'm not sure. Thanos, maybe. Maybe some of the cosmic ones like Eternity and Dormammu. But those are more like... Those are gods. Yeah, they're not like flesh here. They're like clouds and... Spirits more like that. You think she can beat Galactus? I don't know because Galactus is technically not a form, it's a same thing I thought as he was, the other stuff. I thought he was a robot. I mean, that's when he takes form, but otherwise, he's he can be like a cloud or just a being out there. But yes, I do also think that there's a strong possibility that I said the end of the show, I think we predicted this in our prediction video, didn't we? That vision You're when not recording. I am recording. Oh. I thought it said start start recording. Alright, well I'm gonna leave this in the video. Um you are? I do believe I'm gonna say we could be totally wrong, this is just our theories, that the kids will end up being taken away by Mephisto, or they weren't real, and then Vision will be end up being taken away, and she's gonna feel like again she lost everything, and that's gonna cause her to go extreme rage mode just i have nothing to lose i've lost everything again i've tried to contain it and create a new reality where i'm right. together with vision and i have my kids now i have my perfect little world in my bubble and now it's all been taken away now it's truly gone and she's going to unleash her true potential which is the chaos reality war warping I'm saying like, magic. She, you know how last time she was like so powerful. Yeah. She got on her knees whenever her brother died, and like it was a big, small, compact explosion. Yeah, it happened in Avengers: Age of Ultron. Yeah, whenever I think that was part of her chaos magic, but like it didn't release all the way. Yeah, she hasn't even tapped into. I think the closest she's gotten is whenever she almost killed Thanos. Probably. Well, she probably would have if uh, they wouldn't have shot her, shot everybody. But 
yeah, I do think we'll see her, her full potential. Perhaps at that point, the bow has been broke. Everything's been shown that, you know, uh, sword is there. Possibly they get killed. And it's just like, you know, she just releases so much energy. And just like I said, it's reality warping chaos magic. It's magic. So it could just, and it could be the reverse of House of M, no more mutants. It could be, we create mutants. Yeah. So... It could be a, a spin on it. So what would what would Wolverine? Where would he be? I don't know. Cause yeah, I mean that's certain things that you'd have to go around. I guess they would have to change his backstory. Maybe I don't know. I'm not sure. So I mean, cause Wolverine supposedly. Captain America is actually, if you go to the Weapon X program, he's he's number one. And Wolverine is 10. So he's basically part of that same program, but he was part of Canada's. So. Yeah, because wasn't he in the cold area? Yeah. In that in that base. But yeah, I would love to see, you know, we're getting a little off topic, but I would love to see, of course, their version of Wolverine's origin story, but yeah, I could see a possibility where Star Scarlet Witch creates mutants or unlocks people's genes that are just hidden, and or she makes the gene, and then they get unlocked over time. Maybe Possibly. I don't know, but that would change everything from mutants. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be more confusing. So technically, everything that Fox did, we're gonna have to like erase from our brains. No, they've already erased it. It's not. It's not the same. So everything's gone from Fox. No, they're totally going to do everything different. So they can do whatever they want. So we're starting from day one. I said they could change Wolverine's backstory. Not everybody in the show is like they were in the comics. So it could be totally different. I mean, we haven't even seen Magneto and he's he's her dad. So I don't even think that's going to be in this. So they could do whatever they want. Yeah. Wolverine doesn't even have to be part of the Weapon X program. They could make something totally different. You know, mm -hmm. so no telling. My other thought was that Thanos was going to cause it. Like whenever he used the stones to destroy the stones. He created a big force. Yeah. They said that it was such um, such a surge of energy that maybe that could have done it. Possibly. But it's been more than five years. So you would think that mutants, Already something would have happened. Yeah. You would be seeing mutants by now. Well, maybe maybe it put on the the gene got inside of them, but then whenever Wanda goes chaos mode, it unlocks it. Yeah, yeah, that's another possibility I've thought of. Is yeah, Thanos. Well, they've done the snap twice, so yeah, possibly that could give people certain people a gene inside them, and then. Another one with Wanda unlocks it possibly. Or what if whenever the people that got dusted have the gene? The blip people that come back? Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense though, but that means Spider-Man will have the gene. Well, I mean, he's already Spider-Man. True. So it doesn't matter. I mean, Star-Lord will have the gene. Well, he's already he's already got God powers. Because his dad was a... Uh, well, Celestial. Yeah, Celestial, so, I mean, nah, I don't know about that. I think it makes sense that Wanda could unlock it. And or what if there was the people that survived the gene? But that still doesn't make sense either. And then we still have Eternals that will be like another year away. And Isn't Eternal going back, back in time though? Yeah, so, I don't know. But uh, did you have any other thing else? No. Any other theories? No. So that was it? I had two theories, and those were the two theories I told you. Those were it? Yeah, I'm really interested to see eventually where they go with X-Men. I'm hoping that we see... I don't think we'll see an, a mutant, like an X-Men in this show. But I think Doctor Strange will show up at the end of this season. He probably will. I think that... He will probably be able to enter her bubble. Or he can probably put her in a mirror dimension and stop her. Or what if whenever she unleashes her chaos magic and is about to literally kill everybody, Doctor Strange shows up, they go into a portal, it ends, and then we pick up in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Makes That's sense. where that picks up. 
And then we go the Doctor Strange and they're in another world universe and they're fighting. Video for another day. Yeah, video for another day. But yeah, I've been thinking about that too. But yeah, I think that's a very good possibility that Scarlet Witch could cause, possibly create mutants. Yeah. Let us know what y'all think. What are y'all theories? Crazy theories. Is it a good theory? Crazy? Bad? Yeah. I think it's a pretty good one. Yeah. All right. Well, our next video will be One Division, episode three. Ep yeah, episode three. Coming out late Friday night. Leak. Possibly early Saturday morning, like two in the morning, maybe. Possibly. We'll see. All right. Anything else? Nah. All right. Well, if you would please like the video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye. Stay nerdy. Bye.